G'day guys, it's Scorcher here with another how to build, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Uh, now this is a statue, not a pixel art, so what we're going to need today is we will need a block of coal, a black wall, yellow wall, uh, whoop, yellow stone to clay, uh, Obsidian, smooth sandstone, white stained clay, and we'll grab out some brown wool as well. Sorry if that wasn't in order, but I'm just going it as I read it. So first things first, we want to go to our black wool, and we want to do a row 16 across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and we want two rows of that. Now on each side we want to go six high, so we've already got two here, so we've got two, three, four, five, six, and we want two rows of that. Two, three, four, five, six. We're then going to swap to a uh, yellow stained clay because we're then going to do two four by fours on the inside and in the middle here we're going to fill this with black wool Now, swapping back to a yellow stained clay, we want to do two rows, just from side to side. And where we just did our two 4 by 4s both here and here, we want to just do an extra two rows of 4 on top of that. So it looks just like that. And of course that's both sides. We're then going to fill in the rest of these two rows with our yellow wool. And then we're going to add two rows of yellow wool from one side to the other on top of that. So it looks just like that so far. Now with while we're still got our yellow wool out, we're going to do basically the same thing as what we just did down here. As in, we're going to add another two rows of four like this, directly above it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. And of course, we're going to do, do that over here as well. And then to fill in the gaps for the rest of these two rows, we're going to swap to our black wool. We'll just fill in the gaps. Then on top of that, while we've got our black wool out, we'll do two rows from left to right. Or in my case, I'm going right to left. Now I'm going left to right. Alright, so it doesn't matter which side you start from here, we just want to go four in from either side. So one, two, three, four. And we want two rows of that. One, two, three, four. Alright, next to those two rows of four, we'll swap to our block of coal, and we're just going to do a little two by two. And then the rest of that gap can be filled in with yellow stained clay. Now while we've got our yellow stained clay out, we're going to do two rows of that, going from the coal block to the coal block. Like that. And then we're just going to add a little 2x2 two two on each side. And then we're just going to quickly swap to our yellow wool, and we're going to fill in the middle. And then just add two rows from side to side, which 
covers the yellow stained clay as well. Just like that. And then we'll swap back to our block of coal. Because we want to do two rows up the side of all of that. Just like that. So that should be six high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can then fill in the rest with black wool. And while we've got our black wool out, we actually want to do two rows of that on top of all of this. So you can just go ahead and do that. So that's what it should be looking like so far. And once you've got all that up to scratch, we can then swap to our yellow stained clay. And it doesn't matter which side you're doing this from because it's both exactly the same. You want to come six in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just in that gap of four, we just want to fill that with yellow wool. Now we can swap back to our black wool, because we want to do two rows of that, on top of the whole lot of what we've just done. Alright, so then we'll swap back to our yellow stained clay. And we want to come in six from the side. And again, it doesn't matter which side you do it from. Because it's exactly the same. And then we're going to come in onto the third block. And we're just going to do a little two by two like that. So it kind of makes like an upside down Tetris T-shape. And because it's completely symmetrical. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're just going to repeat that again. Now while we've still got our yellow stained clay out, what we're going to do is we're going to place one there. That's only temporary because we're going to get rid of that in a sec. We're just going to go one out. And we're going to do a little two by two there like that. So the two by two is facing outwards. And then we're going to do one. One more two by two facing back in, just like that, and same on this side, so just remember you've got to do it going out and then back in, and then guess what, those gaps get filled with yellow wool, Whoop. just there, just there, just there. We'll do that over here quickly. Okay. So in the middle here, we'll swap back to our block of coal. And we'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We will then add a row or two rows of four of obsidian on top of that. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two rows of coal on top of that. We will then swap back to our obsidian. And going off the bottom coal block here, we want to go two out. And we want to go six high. So we've got one there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, whoop, five, six. We want to do the same on this side. Two, three, four, five, six. And you can just fill in these two little gaps down the bottom here with yellow wool. Hey, hey. So from there, what we're going to do is we will then swap back to our block of coal. <coughs> Excuse me. And on the obsidian here, we're going to place one there. 
and come out and smash that out and place another one there and we want to go two four six eight high so we've got one two three four five six seven eight just like that we want two rows of that and same on this side two three four five six seven eight now on the left hand side you want to come in another four more that way so it'll be six long so we've got two there already so three four five six now obviously we want two rows we will then swap to our obsidian and we'll connect this up but on the outer edge we'll add a little 2x2 two two there so it's starting to look just like that and oh it's raining but that's alright because on the inside here of this we're going to fill that completely with black wool why is it always raining in my videos Alright, so we'll then swap to our yellow wool, because to finish it, this part of his body off, we're just going to fill the entire part up with yellow. Alright, so that's the front part of his body done. Should we look in something like that at the moment? So what we're going to do now is we're going to build his arms. So where we're going to go from there is level with the first lot of black wool that we do a straight line across. Actually, sorry, the second. Let's put our first line down there. This, this row here, where it's black all the way across. Starting at the bottom, we want to go to our smooth sandstone. And we're going to T out. We then want to swap to our brown wool and go four across. And then back to our smooth sandstone for an extra two. And we're just going to copy that. Whoops. Oh, come on. Alright, so we're going to, next row up, we'll go to our smooth sandstone and just do a two by two there. We'll then swap to our white stain clay. And we're just going to do like a little L shape just around that. Just like that. We will then add a row of black wool on top of that. Or two rows of four black wool I should say on top of that. Just like that. We will then swap back to our brown wool. Because on the outer side of that black wool... We want to do a 2x2 two two like that. And then we want to do two more 2x2s two of brown like that, going on a diagonal up and outwards. So, it should look something. Whoops. Like that. Because we will then swap back to our yellow wall. And we can actually then go from that brown all the way to the sandstone and just fill that whole section in pretty straightforward and easy and just to make life even easier we can then swap to a white stain clay and we're just going to basically trace over that brown wall in like a 2x2 two two grid fashion So it makes just a big Z line, kind of like that, in just a, like I said, a 2x2 two two line fashion. And then just to make it even easier, we can swap to our brown wall. And we're just going to do another four 2x2 two two squares, like those there. 
on top of all the white. Alright, and then what we'll do next is we'll swap to our yellow stained clay. And we're just going to do two by two blocks on top of the first three brown wool. Like that there. And then the rest of that, up to the top level here, can just be filled in with yellow wool. Actually, I might go up and down. I tell you what, having the yellow stained clay made this build a hell of a lot easier than what it was. Alright. So now that we've done that, we want to trace exactly what we've done there, over here. But of course, it's a mirror image, so bear with me while I quickly, well, make an attempt to quickly try and build this. So, you know, just feel free to talk amongst, amongst yourselves. It's all good. It is kind of hard, you know, doing this by myself now, now that Walnut's no longer with me. But nonetheless, I will prevail. I wish this rain would disappear though, it's quite annoying. Do, 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 do. What do I want? White stain clay. Doosh, 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 doosh. But how are you all going? You keeping up with me? Because if you are, you're a bloody top builder. Right, yellow, whoop, yellow. Alright, so that's what you should have there for that. Now, moving on to the side, we'll start with his right leg first. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to have a quick save, because I want this rain to disappear. It's annoying. Okay, so the rain's finally stopped. One thing I kind of forgot, when you put the day set permanently, you can't go to sleep and make the rain disappear. I had to wait 20 minutes for it to stop. But anyway, back to the build. We're going to swap to a black wall, and we're going on the right-hand side first still. And we're going to go eight back. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with that, we're just going to quickly swap to a yellow wall. And just here where we've got this row of four here, we're just going to add another two rows behind it. We're going to break out a good old potion of Swifty Swiftness. Consume it! And then with our black wall, we're going to just go all the way up level to the top of that yellow that we just did. And then we're going to do another four rows of black on top of that. And then we're going to do eight rows of yellow on top of that. Whoops. So that will bring us up level with the base of his hand. And now we're just going to basically do pretty much the same thing on the other side. Where we've got this first four row of four yellow. 
We're just going to add an extra two rows back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But in this time, we're not going to do any yellow up the top. This side is just completely black now. One more row. And there we go. And that's where we'll leave it for part one today. And just remember, as always, if you do like this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And if there's anything you'd like to see built, drop it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next week for part two.